Greg, I've never seen a machine like this. First of all, for people who don't know Eskimatic, can you explain what it is? Okay, so the main difference and specificity of Eskomatic is we work from coil fed material versus a bar feeding system that you'd see on a normal lathe. Uh, to do so, we have coil material at the back of the machine and obviously to work the material, we will need to straighten it. So we have a straightening system at the back of the machine that will pull the material, straighten it and make it as straight as possible to manufacture. So I find this amazing because you can, on most sliding head machines, fixed head machines, you gather it, you get a short or a long bar feeder. Longest bar feeder being three meters out to about here. And yet you can fit, I don't know, maybe 20 times the material just in this space here. It's absolutely amazing. Yes. So the main advantage of coil material is space, obviously. Uh, we don't have the big bar feeder behind the machine. The other advantage is the bar feeding loading. You don't need to load the machine. You load the machine once with 30 kilos of material. It's ready, it's ready to run. You don't have bar ends falling off. You feed the machine until the coil's finished. Uh, second advantage, you don't have the coil change or the bar change like you do on a bar feeder. That will take 30 seconds off your production time every time you change a bar on a bar feeding system. Here, you have direct feed. You're feeding, you're producing, you don't have downtime. So there's lots of advantages to having the coil fed system over a bar fed system. Exactly. You'll get absolutely 30 to 40 production hours extra in a week versus a bar feeding system. And that's how you can save so much space. You can fit another another two Eskimatic machines in the same it's space as a, as a three meter bar feeder. It so let's go onto the business end and have a quick look what it's actually doing. So once you've got the coil fed material coming in, then get straight into a, a nice straight bar to come into the, to the, to the, uh, the working area. And if we have a look at the working area here, so can you just explain, this bit is kind of where the, the actual, the magic happens at the start. Can you explain what this bit does, please? So Eskomatic speciality, and like I said before, was uh, that we work from uh, static material. So versus a standard lift where the material is turning, we had to find a solution over the years where we have the tools rotating around the material and working it. This means here you have your standard cutting tools like on a normal lift, except that the tools are rotating around the material with our specialized rotating tool head designed by ESCO many years ago and still the key of our success. After that, we have the possibility to take the part with the coil to call it and work the back side or if we need to work the front side of the parts we have some front operations we can work the front of the part move it to the side do some back end work milling polygoning taping you name it we can do it uh, obviously what Eskomatic does we're in a niche market we work all types of materials but under eight millimeters and that from the very start of 0 0.3 millimeters for typically small industries medical industries uh, electrical industries, we're in all parts of the segments of the market. So if someone's running right now in, uh, if they're running a sliding head machine shop making connectors, for example, I guess, is this a machine, is this accessible for someone who previously has experience with sliding heads and bar feeding making connectors? Exactly. The only difference between a normal machine, I would say a standard machine uh, with a uh, uh, versus uh, ESCO machine is the rotating tool head, but the tools move in the same way. Uh, we give the same coordinates, we, we program in the same way. We use FANUC standard machinery and standard uh, G um, uh, programming systems. So any user can switch fairly easily from his older machines or on different technology to our technology in a very simple manner. So it's almost like someone moving from a fixed head to a sliding head, then move from a sliding head to a rotating tool head. Exactly. And basically, um, if they know how to program, uh, they'll be very, very quickly up to speed with our machines. Well, it's absolutely fascinating configuration. And the fact that you can do uh, back working and also front working extra operations means that I guess you're not limited by the types of features on the parts with this machine. Exactly. We have no limits. The only limit is size. Uh, we go up, like I said, our machineries are designed up to eight millimeters. And uh, that's the, the limit. Um, Okay, so you can do any kind of parts, but again, you say this is for volume manufacture. Now, what kind of numbers are we talking? What are we talking, parts per minute? How many, how many parts per minute? 
We usually recommend that you in, in parts per years. You need you need a lot of volume. Uh, these machines are very quick. On certain applications, we'll be running at 17, 20 parts per minute for complex parts. So your volume of parts will be done in less than a day, depending on the application. So we usually talk in millions of parts. Uh, some 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 manufacturers manufacture by family of parts and use families of parts on the machine to cover their volumes. But typically, we'll recommend to use an ESCO machine from and above 200,000 parts uh, per year. Brilliant. So if you're making high volume parts, maybe you're struggling to keep stock for your clients because you've got loads of sliding heads and you need a slightly more bespoke machine with an absolutely fascinating configuration, uh, get in touch with David Dunn from Premier Machine Tools to find out about the Eskimatic range of rotating tool heads.